Today, we'll learn the five successful habits of the bullionaire next door. Let's begin. Who is the bullionaire next door? How do you know if you're living right next door to a bullionaire? Are there outward signs that a household has a big stack of silver or gold stored on site or off site? As I was thinking about bullionaires and millionaires, it reminded me of the book, The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy by Thomas Stanley and William Danko. The authors compared the behavior of those they called under accumulators of wealth with those that are prodigious or high accumulators of wealth. Their findings that millionaires are disproportionately clustered in middle class and blue-collar neighborhoods and not in more affluent or white-collar communities. This came as a surprise to the authors who anticipated the opposite. Stanley and Danko's book explains why, noting that high-income white-collar professionals are more likely to devote their income to luxury goods or status items, thus neglecting savings and investments. The millionaire next door sounds an awful lot like the bullionaire next door to me, or a typical silver and gold stacker. So if you want to be a high accumulator of wealth instead of an under accumulator of wealth, these five successful habits might give your wealth a course correction or to let you know that you're on the right track. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. A recent commenter to my video with over 52,000 views said, Love it. Thanks for the inspiration. Sometimes we all need a little kick in the pants. Like this viewer, you may be a better silver and gold stacker than you think. More on this later. Success habit number one of the bullionaire next door is that they are the secret bullionaire next door. Also known as Gibbs rule number four. Best way to keep a secret? Keep it to yourself. Second best, tell one other person if you must. There is no third best. What would be the benefit of being known as a silver or gold stacker in your church or at work? I don't know about your church, but one thing about my church is that it's full of sinners, myself included, and they know other sinners. Loose lips sink ships. It's not who you tell, it's who they tell. The only benefit to telling others is building a community of people of like-minded people or to share knowledge. So you may think, why would a guy talk about his gold and silver on YouTube? Isn't he breaking Gibbs rule himself? I do it for the community on YouTube so you don't have to locally. YouTube may be the safest place to talk about metals outside of a local coin store. So the bullion next door does not talk to his direct neighbors about silver and gold so you'll never know he lives next to you, but he might have an anonymous YouTube channel. Success habit number two of the bullionaire next door Consistent savers. A successful bullionaire has a budget and a plan for his or her purchases. They pay themselves first. They allocate a certain percentage of income or allocate a significant amount of any windfall incomes or bonuses or found money to buying items for their stack, be it gold or silver. They have a plan and they stick to the plan. It's far better to get an empty silver eagle tube and add to it consistently or to consistently buy a full tube of silver eagles than to be caught up in the news of the day or the up and down swings of the spot price or the deal of the day or to be caught up in any competition about what the other guy is buying or how fast the other guy is buying. Everyone's budget and family circumstances are different, but nothing succeeds like consistency. Steady accumulation of ounces leads to more ounces than you could ever realize. After a year or two or three of consistent effort, the bullionaire knows that regardless of price movement, if you are consistently adding ounces, ounce movement is up. Success habit number three of the bullionaire next door, frugal. A frugal spender buys only what they need, not to impress other people. Maybe a frugal spender provides for his family by burning firewood instead of turning up the thermostat. Or maybe he cuts the wood himself or uses an axe to split wood instead of a hydraulic splitter. Maybe a frugal household eats as well or better than a big spending household because they raise backyard chickens or go fishing or grow vegetables. If you can keep your overhead low, 
then there's more of your income available for storing wealth. What good is high income if it means high expenses and expenses that are just to keep up with the Joneses? In today's tough economy, really high earners might be living Rolex to Rolex. Maybe Rolexes hold their value, maybe they don't, but there's a lot of high earning spending that absolutely does not hold its value and wears out. Today's style goes out of style. Then there's designed obsolescence. The bullionaire knows that gold and silver do not have designed obsolescence. Coins and bars don't wear out, and bullion does not go out of style. Success habit number four of the bullionaire next door, reasonable car. From 2020 to now, the car business has been turned upside down with vehicle inflation out of control for both new cars and trucks and used vehicles too. But the last few years can't erase some tried and true lessons about vehicles. Car dealers don't sell on the price tag, but based on the monthly payment. How much can you afford? And car payments are getting bigger and bigger. And the amount of time in years that you pay your loan back monthly have only been getting longer. Bullionaires buy a reasonable car and a car that is likely two years old instead of new. And they might pay with cash. But if they do have a loan... By having a reasonable car with a reasonable payment, I was able to pay off my car loan early. A $230 car payment once gone was the key to me pivoting to a monthly one-tenth ounce gold purchase. And those one-tenth ounce gold coins added up and now I can hold the equivalent of 25 monthly car payments or two and a half ounces of gold worth over $5,500. If I had not bought a reasonable car, I might have had a much bigger payment and the car loan might not even be paid off yet and I might not have this gold tube at all. So my reasonable car is bought and paid for, it's got low miles, still runs, and I've got a tube of gold. Imagine how much gold and silver bullionaires have because they have bought reasonable cars. Do you want to show off your debt in your driveway or do you want to store your wealth discreetly in your gold and silver stack? We have another success habit of the billionaire next door coming up next, right after a word from our sponsor. I'm excited that Amex is an ongoing sponsor of my YouTube channel. I do have an affiliate link where you can buy silver dimes or something like this low mintage bunker bullion Washington praying at Valley Forge silver round from Amex at no additional cost than going to Amex's website directly. You can add a special one-time use coupon code HEIST at the checkout to receive a small discount on your next Atmex order. It helps out the channel when you use the link. It's a win-win. Details in the description below. Success habit number five of the billionaire next door is a reasonable home. A reasonable home in a reasonable town or neighborhood helps keep your overhead low. The trouble with being in a high wage earning neighborhood is that too many high wage earners believe in outward demonstrations of their wealth. The home in the neighborhood creates a high overhead that eats up those high wages. Big home means big energy bills, means big property taxes. Have you ever seen a big home with some rooms not even furnished? High overhead leaves less and less money for high levels of wealth accumulation. That is what surprised the authors of The Millionaire Next Door, is that high salaries does not lead to high levels of wealth accumulation. The trouble with too high an income is too much money. The billionaire is more focused on saving what he earns than showing it off. We may not be billionaires yet, but we are gold and silver stackers. You may have found that you are already following some of these five successful habits of the billionaire next door. So congratulations, you're on the right track. If you want to recognize the seven signs that you're a better silver and gold stacker than you think, you're going to want to watch this video next.